Liam Dunn and his family made their way down River Road on the south side Saturday. That as a crowd of family and community members cheered him on. It's the first time the 20 year old has been back in his neck of the woods for some time. We wanted to give him a champion's welcome. It comes after undertaking weeks of fighting after a high speed police chase ended in devastation, killing his 17 year old sister Maggie Dunn and her friend Caroline Gill at 16 years old. The 20 year old was the only survivor in that car. Spending weeks in a coma and after a difficult surgery, he made it out. His resilience is something many noticed. It's been only been about 10 days or so since his surgery and he's already coming home. Cheers of encouragement, the surface of why many came out. We were both pallbearers and uh, it was just a really rough time and to see him still make it through this, it's just a great sight to see. It comes just days after surgery. The progression that he's made over the over the last few days is remarkable. His former team proud of the progress he's made, especially after all he's done. He he pitched some big games for us and won some big games in the playoffs where if he didn't do that, we, we, would, we wouldn't have had a chance to make it as far as we did. Now they've got one hope for Dunn. Just hoping that he can uh, go through with his life as regularly as he can with the joy that he used to possess. The team is trying to ensure that. We're going to dedicate our season to both the Dunn and the Gill families. With how far he's come, they're ready to take him even further. We're hoping to have him throw out the first pitch. Seeing him heading home isn't the only great sight players and his family hope to see soon. It's going to be a great sight to see him back on the field too. Callista Matrician, WBRZ News 2.